Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing another small independent business. One that I have been doing for quite a while now and um, have grown an amazing friendship with. Who I'm talking about today guys is Chains and Charms. So some of you who have actually bought from Chains and Charms will know Amy in herself is an amazing young lady. We talk quite often and her partner Rach, which I absolutely love, um, because obviously with Zach as well there's a connection there. I decided to grab a deal that Chains and Charms had and it was it was a while back guys. The reason I'm not filming this just yet because I did tell Amy to hold back on sending it me because there was something else I wanted to grab. I didn't manage to grab it in the end but she still got it there for me. I will grab it. The reason why Halloween was extremely hectic, I was trying to get through as many businesses as I could and you know the money pot is very very small and I was trying to grab as much as I can in that small pot. Obviously I'm not buying now anything from small independent businesses at the minute because Christmas and you know we all know, we don't need to explain, we all know what happens at Christmas, we all end up bloody skin so yeah. So with that said guys I'm a little bit confused by what she sent me. So I ordered literally a rest in peace bat choker, 14 to 16 inch. It was £9.50. With that deal, you got a free item. So I decided to grab the matching earrings because I love a matching set, guys. If I don't have a matching set, I, I get really like, mm, I need to have the matching set. Even if I don't get it straight away, I will buy the matching piece eventually. Sometimes they don't have a matching set, but this one did, so it had the earrings. I got the earrings free because it was buy one, get one free. And then there was a certain, it was on a certain lot of items that was in there. I think it was from her old stock or Halloween stock, I can't quite remember now. And I got them free, guys, and I paid shipping one ninety nine. My total order was £11.49, which absolutely inexpensive for what you get. I love Amy's ideas, I love her bundles. I like everything that goes in Chains and Charms. You can guarantee there's gonna be a letter in here, guys. There always is from Amy and it makes me smile. And now, looking at the size of this box, this is not just a choker and a pair of earrings, guys. So I took my address off. So this arrived, guys, and I was like, Amy and Rach, what is going on here? So straight away, Chains and Chance have got a new, a new um, logo and I absolutely love it because it's a skull and I love a skull and it's got bats on there as well. So if you look closely, this is the new logo. So if you're looking for Chains and Chance, this is what you're looking for when it, when it comes to her logo. Obviously there's a little pumpkin on here because I think she may have put something in here that's relevant to Halloween. So, cause this is a, like a hollow. She did say she was putting something in there to do with Halloween something Amy <laughs> and then here it says spooky post this is definitely a violet moth sticker I am yet to dive into violet moth but I will be doing next year when I start up small businesses again and then at the back it's got Amy's address which is great because I have got a, a parcel to send to Amy and Rach yes yes I did say I was going to do this and it says thank you for your order please leave a review and it has some stars on there so I'm going to crack this open guys and see what the heck she's put in here so one minute let me just get this pin okay it says open it open if you dare <laughs> need I say any more okay okay oh and she's got the note on the box oh <laughs> this girl i tell you she's such a sweetheart she has got a heart of gold um she doesn't need to put anything in my parcel apart from what i ordered and i always tell her and i, I always i kind of shout at her not in a nasty way i shout at her like you don't need to do this i'm happy with what i got and i will buy lots more you don't need to put anything in there but but it's all right because I've got her back and Rich. I've got them both back. They will see. Christmas time, they will see. So on opening, this is what I am faced with, with my little letter, which I will look at first, guys, because I don't want to give her any information that she doesn't want to put on there. So I'll keep that 
there and then here is this lovely orange paper with a trick or treat cheat sheet i'm not going to look at that but it's got the information changing charms business card hasn't changed as of yet i don't know if she'll change the cards and it says here thank you so much thank you so much for shopping from my small business your order makes my day i hope this package makes yours and then um she's got oh she's crossed something out here which is a depop so we don't need that now it's um instagram underscore capital letters change and charms and then on etsy it's change and charms uk she does have a shop now which is shopify which you will get through instagram guys so if you go on instagram click in change and charms it'll say shop now and it'll take you onto the shopify shop which looks amazing well done amy and it's www.changeandcharms.myshopify.com guys so just put it on there i'll put all the details in the description in the links box so you'll know where to find all the information on here she's put little sequins which are all going to fall out and i don't want them to fall out oh so i've got some little pumpkins some little spider webs oh spiders oh my god this looks beautiful lots of lots of lots of sequins in here and i keep all this guys oh my god way too much in here naughty girl little witches i've not seen them once before so yeah lots of things on here there's even little orange cats i'll show you them at the end guys <gasps> little orange pussy cats wow so much stuff in here now upon opening this is what it looks like guys so you can see now let me just take this bag out don't know what this is i think this might be the halloween bag that she's put in and lots more oh my god and this seems really heavy and then lots of this sequin stuff Chris, uh, christmas halloween things i don't want to drop any of it because i i keep all that next year for decoration so oh my god guys look at it all and that's there's loads of it in the box as well okay pumpkins escaping right so two bags i will refer to the cheat sheet if i need to after i've opened this i think this might be my order so let's um open it it's in a nice big organza bag oh amy so there's four bags in here why four what is she doing and then the bag's filled with little goodies as well oh she's so naughty and then the organza bag which i collect i absolutely love so, oh, right, so there's, she's still taking them together. So this must be a set of something or maybe my set. I don't know. I'm totally confused right now. So bear with me. So let's crack it open, guys. So she's got the tape on there and the spooky skeleton paper and then Happy Halloween on the paper. Again, that's Violet Moth sticker. Oh, I hate destroying any of this. Oh, yeah, this is mine. I'm trying to take the i don't know why i try and save the, the stickers because i'm going to get some for violet moth anyway so these are the earrings this is the earrings to the choker set that i have ordered so i'll just put that aside which means this must be the necklace again she's got some spooky paper and it says packaged with scare look at me again I'm trying to save the it's like bloody christmas I know it's coming up to Christmas and all, but she's so naughty. Yay! So this is my choker. I'll keep all the package in there. And she's taped it at the back, guys, so it doesn't get all tangled up and everything. Oh, I love it! Oh, look at that! So it has little, little bats on there, little acrylic bats are on it. It says, rest in peace, little, little tombs on this silver which is 15 to 16 inch chain i do remember picking that and then you've got your lobster clasp here as well but just take all the tape off oh yeah nice big extender on there as well guys so i think she's done this at 14 inch and i like made it into a 16 inch with the extender on there nice big loops as well so it's easier to clasp absolutely love that and then the earrings are the ones that just go straight in I love a matching set i will try these on guys don't you worry so that's my my order what the hell is all the rest i don't know <sighs> do you know if i ever get my own business i will make sure i get her back savagely but it's all right because i'll get her back anyway <laughs> regardless so i have no idea what these two are again same stickers on as the first ones 
I'm going to open the necklace first because I'm presuming that this is a necklace. It feels quite heavy actually. Again on the skeleton paper with that spooky tape. <gasps> oh, she's so naughty. Oh, she's not getting away with this. So guys, this is the item I asked her to hold for me. <gasps> yeah, I'll get her back for this. So this is the Ouija one. It's a Ouija planchette on the acrylic and it says Ouija on there, the little hole. I love the fact that it's got that big ring on there. It's got a little bit of a, a scarlet and chains thing with that big ring being on there. Again, it's this nice big lobster clasp. I always say lobster. I'm so excitable that I'm getting all, ooh, there you go. That's what it looks like. I've got shaky hands today, guys, so just bear with me. And then I think, she, has she put it on an extender again? I think she's put it on an extender again, yeah. You're naughty, but I love you. Look at that. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've got enough jewelry here. I tell you, I've just, these small businesses really do like deliver. I mean, I know she doesn't have to do this and she knows she doesn't have to and she does it and she's not gonna keep doing it because every time she keeps doing it, I'm just gonna keep sending stuff to her house until she stops. <laughs> and these are the matching earrings. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. So excited oh i love them and the ones that drop in as well which i absolutely love the ones that drop in oh thank you so much amy thank you so so much i'm rich but it is amy's little business but oh, i'm going to message her after this and i'm going to see if she'll take some money off me because i i was buying them off her i told her to put it away so she didn't have to do that so that is a nice amazing surprise so I don't know what's in here guys, but let's crack it open. Again, this is a violet moth. It says, warning, opening this package will result in extreme happiness. I think she's already done that already. Speechless. Let's crack this open. I've already got this back. In fact, yes I have, but I always like to save violet. I think violet moth has this, this tendency of like wanting to save her stickers. Save violet moth stickers, don't rip them. Oh, I've ripped his bloody head off. I didn't want to do that. Right, guys. There's something here which looks like a print. <gasps> what the hell? One, two, three little packages. Oh my God, four, five little packages. What is this? This must be a Halloween. And another one. <gasps> and a super heavy one. What the heck's that? And then the striped bag, which I absolutely love these striped bags, I just do. You see them everywhere with small businesses, but I just love them. Right, um, I, I'm gonna use it as a surprise. I was not gonna look at the cheat sheet till afterwards. So first things first, all wrapped in black tissue paper with little, tiny little, um, what are they called? I never know, glitter, little glitter on. With all these stickers. I don't wanna rip the stickers, so I'm gonna really take my time with it. This is a spooky post. Got the Amy perfume smell on there. I know what Amy smells like now. I knew already. Although Zach's, Zach's version just made me laugh. Oh, this is well cute. So there's the sticker and it says blueberry pumpkin patch. Oh, so the little melts. Oh, this is well cute. So I don't know if she's, she's teamed up with some small independent businesses to do this. It just says Sweet pea guidance, and it is in a bag that says Halloween. Hmm, they smell amazing. Oh, see the little pumpkins. One's got little bits crushed, but hey ho, it doesn't matter. It's going to get crushed in my burner anyway. So that is my first item in this Halloween bag because I'm presuming this is her Halloween bag. Second one. Oh my God, organza bag. And it's got the spooky post sticker on there as well. In this, oh, look at that bag. It's got a school organza bag. I love that. And she's naughty. Oh, I was eyeing this up. Even when um, Simply Gothic, Kirsty, Simply Spooky, she got it as well. Oh, it's a little pumpkin. I think this one's stainless steel, this one as well, guys. This one feels quite heavy. That's quite a heavy piece. I love it. I just want to wear them all night. This chain is lovely. This chain is really nice and heavy. I think that might, I think she's changed her chain slightly. Chains and charms. I love it. So that's the pumpkin, which obviously is to go with this Halloween bag. 
another item in another organza bag and it has happy halloween sticker on there as well oh a little key ring in this beautiful spider web orange organza bag oh look at this it's a bat on an acrylic bat upside down key ring chain oh i love that that will go i've got a whole big bunch of key rings i don't put them on my keys because they always get broken but i've got them all love that so that's my third item from this halloween bag which is this is quite interesting i like this oh oh lollipop <laughs> yay <laughs> oh it's a candy corn i've never tasted candy corn a lot of people say that it's a bit ugh, but i'll be the judge of that so that's that lollipop which sack may take off me it says trick or treats oh scratch below for your prize oh there's a scratch card in there guys i'll do that last I've had scratch cards for years. Oh my God, this is really good. Um, I'm enjoying this. What's this though? Another organza bag with a skull on this one. I'm, have you noticed I'm ripping the bags in a certain way? What's this? I think they're earrings. I ain't got my glasses on guys. Again, these bags are really nice bags. Ah, oh, <laughs> little earrings. Ah, oh, the little, is, is this a trick or treat? Oh, it does. How cute are them? The little acrylic trick or treat. One's got a cat at the end. One's got a pumpkin at the end. Oh, they're well cute. Look at them. <laughs> Getting too excited. Guys, I'll take photos of all these so you get to see what they all look like. So that one says trick. And the other one says treat with a pussycat on. I love them. I've never seen them before, ever. So I don't know where they've come from. So thank you oh my god there's still more what's this so oh yay for my jacket from simon's nest they're on my list as well they're on etsy simon's nest he says a single pin badge with a pumpkin on it it's going on my hood my jacket absolutely love that i have watched um Musan. she did a simon's nest haul and I, I was like well impressed by that so that's that one and then there's these other little ones again they've all got the violet moth sticker on here what's this oh um is this a sticker i think this may be stickers i won't open it yet guys but it looks like some stickers in there and there's a card in there as well um so i'll read that in a minute let's just do this last one and then i can go to the cheat sheet and see what it is this is a print and it's got a spooky post on it as well. I know what this print is because it's one that I want. It's from Simon's Nest, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I've got this on my to buy list. Yes, I love it. It says trick or treat with a pumpkin on it and it's a print. I think it's postcard size. I'll need more frames. I've got lots and lots of pictures to be put in frames, but I absolutely love that. So these two are Simon's Nest guys, so you know that. And I think the melts may be in collaboration with this one. Right, guys, let's just go to the trick or treat cheat sheet. Let's get my glasses on so we can read it. So it says, contents include one pumpkin necklace, one trick or treat earrings, one hanging back keyring, one candy corn lolly, one trick or treat scratch card, two wax melts, sweet pea guidance, one mini print by Simon's Nest, one bottom badge also by Simon's Nest, stickers, gifts by Charlotte guys. So this will say gifts by Charlotte on here. I like these little bags that they come in as well guys. Attention to detail is everything. I've got a little thing that I put all my stickers on. Oh these are well cute. So there's the bag guys and then there's a little toffee apple lolly oh trick or treat sticker with a ghosty on it and some little pumpkins looking rather angry and some candy corns all to do with halloween guys and it says gifts by charlotte so it says gifts by charlotte at hotmail.com instagram.com slash gifts by charlotte capital letters etsy.com slash uk slash shop slash gifts by charlotte shop go and check out that small independent business guys and then simon's nest is on um etsy i will put that all in the description box below absolutely love all this thank you so much i haven't got anything to scratch this with let me just use my um tweezers and give it a scratch oh my god um oh 
Oh, how cute is this? I don't think I need any more free gifts. She's giving me a bloody enough. Free gift with your next order, guys. Scratch below for your surprise. That is brilliant. Trick or treat. Mwah. Amy, thank you so much. I absolutely love this. I don't know where to start. Lolly. Melts as well. I don't know who the melts. It just says Sweet Pea Guidance. So I'm not too sure where these are from. But I absolutely like the look of these. Let me just rip open the bag and have a quick sniff. Yummy. It's just Halloween in a bag. This is this is just all Halloween in a bag. I'm way overwhelmed with all this lot, guys. I don't even know where to start. Um, two minutes, guys. I'm going to go and put, I'll put one of the sets on and then I'll come back and we'll conclude this and I'll just read this letter. Two minutes, back in a jiffy. Okay, guys, so... You just knew I was going to reach for this one. So I have put on the Ouija planchette, the one that she saved for me, which I was purchasing. I'm just going to go ahead and read this note, guys. I can't promise you that I'm not going to blubber because I'm very sensitive at the minute. And, you know, I've, I've bonded with Amy and Rach. They're lovely, lovely ladies. And you know what? I wish them all the success in her business because i think she she doesn't need to give me anything to say thank you just her being there just to have a chat with me when i message her is good enough um do you know what i mean it's yeah so this is what she's put she's put my lovely rachel as always thank you so much for your order your continued support really does mean the entire world to me more than you could ever imagine I do a happy dance every single order that comes through but it's always that little bit more special when it's from someone I have gained such a great friendship with. I hope you love your new items as much as I loved making them for you like we discussed. I have also gifted you one of my Halloween mystery bags, told you, which contains goodies from some other small businesses I think you will love. I have also included the Ouija planchette set as I know I have kept it aside for you but I also know how much you have had your eye on it for the longest time. This is all just to say thank you from, oh sorry, you don't need to say thank you honestly from the bottom of my heart for everything you do. Your hard work for every review you have ever done for me and for just being the most amazing friend to me and Rach too. I am eternal, I'm eternally grateful and I know she is too. Stay safe. Love so much, Amy. <laughs> and she's put Enigma 15, guys, for my um, code. Sorry, I'm taken back by that note. For my code, um, I've put it in the links box alongside with Jewelry and Jangles. I've also got a code for Bubba's Melties now, guys, which is Enigma 10. I will put everything in the links box there, which are my codes. Please take advantage of them. They're there for you. I don't make any money from them. They're just there for you guys to go and enjoy. Um, and in the links box under that will be all the descriptions of everything that's been in this box today, including Simon's Nest and the um, gifts by Charlotte. Also, Chains and Charms will be in there as well. Thank you so much, Amy Mwah, and Rach as well, because I know she's been helping you sort this out. Um, I'll get you back. So guys, these are the planchette earrings. And here is the necklace, which... <laughs> look the love she knows i do and obviously this was my order i will be ordering and she's emmy you don't need to put any more on my orders honest to god you've got a customer for life and you've got a friend for life that's all i need to say and you know she always says to me you don't need to review these items you know you just don't and i'm like yeah right like i'm not i don't see it as um content on my channel i see it as a way of me saying thank you the business is amazing why not shout about it if if i try change champs the first time and it wasn't to my to my taste she would have known by now that it wasn't to my taste but everything she does is amazing she does it all on her own and you know i appreciate that i appreciate this business please go and check out change and charms i shout it from the top of the rooftop because it is worth it 
and you know she's so affordable i think she's too affordable i i have said to her you should put your prices up a little bit because you know what you charge for what what people are getting all right guys take care this is chains and charms i know it's a very long video but i'm sorry but i'm not just going to cut things out and and just give her a short video she needs a review because it's amazing i don't know how many people got the trick-or-treat halloween bag i'm so freaking grateful she'd give one to me absolutely love it really appreciate it it's like she read my mind simon's nest i mean i've never heard of gifts by charlotte but now i have i will check it out especially coming up to christmas guys check out these small independent businesses coming up to christmas save yourself some money do you know what i mean i have i mean i have bought some from high shops because grandkids don't want jewelry but you know for, for family members you know introduce them to a little bit of these small independent businesses because they will appreciate it as much as we do okay with that said i don't think i need a free gift from my next order young lady i think you've already given it me so i will be ordering again from changing charms simon's nest and gifts by charlotte Mwah. take care guys and i will try these out as well guys because these are amazing i'll try the pumpkin necklace with the trick or treat earrings because they're so cute everything's so goddamn cute i can't tell you how much the bag was guys take care guys Mwah. chains and charms and thank you for watching take care pop comment on below tell me what you think i thought this was absolutely amazing thumbs up all right take care and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye for now Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.